Good day everybody. Welcome to episode 9 of my tutorial series for beginner players in Minecraft Java Edition. Today we will be looking at how to get your first food and cook it so that you can eat and not go hungry. You will see that we start off in the same place as our previous episode and you will see in my hunger bar that I'm down two T-bone steaks or drumsticks, I don't know what we call them, and I need to eat to keep my player saturated. Please watch the previous episode of the series if you do not know how to craft tools since tools are essential to getting food and we crafted all of these in that episode. The fastest and easiest food source available to you is normally to kill sheep, cows, chickens or pigs, whichever is available in your immediate surroundings. At the same time you could watch out for stone which we have in the cliffs behind us so that you can craft an oven to cook your food in. Use your wooden sword or even your stone sword like we have at the moment to kill whatever you have available. So I will be going for some of the sheep and just get their meat. The animals that you kill will uh, drop other stuff as well. So the sheep for instance is dropping some wool, but that can be used at the later stage to craft other items. Let's just get these as well. Sorry sheepy, but at the moment you will cause me to live. You will aid me. Thank you very much. Let's just see if I can find another sheep. Okay, nothing yet. I'm just going to use my wooden axe quickly to get some more wood. And I'll show you in a minute why. Let's just take that. All right. We just need to gather some more cobblestone so we can so that we can craft an oven. should be more than enough but let's take a few blocks more oh, come on right. let's get back to our crafting table use your crafting table that we crafted in the previous episode to craft a furnace the furnace would be used to cook your food in and you can put set furnace on the ground you will see that I'm quite hungry now because of all the activity when using your furnace, you should put your, your logs into the furnace to cook your food. Uh, they last much longer than planks and they are readily available. So make sure to use the fuel source that is best for what you have available. Okay, let's just quickly get this food done. My player is getting quite hungry. Let that cook for a minute and we can eat. And you'll see that I replenish my hunger. Okay, so that's it. That's done. So I've got four more and I can go about getting some more food. And you can really do anything to get the food chickens, pigs, sheep, cows. Um, it doesn't matter in your early game you just need to survive and because you don't have uh, crops yet um, meat is going to be the only food source you will have one tip for beginner players if you do not have stone available around you like the stone we have in the cliff behind us you can always dig down and you should find you should find stone within three or four blocks down just make sure not to dig straight down because you might fall into a cave and that wouldn't be, wouldn't be good. Okay, so you'll see there we found some, some stone and you can use that to create the cobblestone that you need. Something else that I need to mention, if you are close to a village, you will find carrots, potatoes, wheat or beetroot in the village. 
Some of those can be eaten immediately, especially if your player is very hungry. And some can be used to create a farm that can be crafted afterwards into different items. We will be looking at different food types and how to farm them in episode 12 of the series. We will also be looking at different fuel sources for your furnaces in episode 11, all of which can be crafted early in the game. You can craft or create fuel for your furnaces that is far more efficient than the fuel we used in this episode. Thank you for watching this short tutorial on immediately available food sources in the early game. Please consider subscribing to my channel and remember to hit the notification bell to be notified of new episodes. We have over 80 tutorials to cover in this series and even intermediate players in Minecraft could learn something from this series. Thank you again for watching and enjoy the rest of your day, wherever you are. Goodbye.